Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. It's Friday. Time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And we have a theme this week. That theme is gone fishing. We got a trip planned. We're rolling out of here tomorrow. We're headed up to Lake Worcester in Oklahoma, Lake Worcester State Park. I'm gonna go up there and do the dude RV thing and document all of Lake Worcester State Park. And then we're gonna pick up a couple of Corps of Engineers on the way home. Both of our campsites are located on, on the lake, two different lakes. So there's gonna be an opportunity for Dude RV to put a hook in the water. But we're gonna be gone for a couple days and that, that, that are, brings a challenge. Now I, I make a point not to have any livestock <laughs> or any, anything that requires daily attention. That way I don't have to make arrangements for when I'm gone. I do have one, one passion, one interest, one, one hobby, and that is carnivorous plants. Yeah, I like them. I've got one right here. This is a, a magnificent specimen. This is, this is one of the largest pitcher plants, period. And then I have a couple over here as well. Two different strains. These are Saracenia. They're a strain of Saracenia. This means they're a pitcher plant. They have to have water. They're bog plants. If they can't get dry. So I have I have configured a, a gravity fed arrangement, and I've been heavily saturating them over the last couple of days. Can't use tap water; that'll kill them. They have to have mineral free water so either rain water or I'm, I'm going somewhere with this you gotta stick with me here or i capture the condensation from the air conditioner that's a the, i call it the air well and it, that produces a lot of water problem with the gravity feed system that i'm having is particulates fall into the water things grow in the water and they, they clog the little drip emitters. So I need a different solution. But I'd like to give a special thanks to Jiang. Uh, Jiang? I hope I'm, I, um, I'm not exactly sure the pronunciation. J I Y A N G Y A N G. Jiang. Jiang. Hayang, maybe? I don't know. I don't speak. I don't speak Mandarin or Chinese, or I, I speak Texan. All right, so they have sent us something that I feel is gonna be most beneficial for my carnivorous plant. Okay, and oh, by the way, those carnivorous plants, they work great. So this is a solar irrigation kit. Of course it has hose, we got some mounting material. Uh, some, some stakes, a filter, uh, some fittings, tees it looks like. And we have a couple more stakes. And then we have the solar controller. If I understand what I read correctly, and by looking at this picture right here, all I have to do is put this assembly together, put the screen on the intake, put that on the intake, and then run an out, outbound and this will hold a charge. This will operate for several days. It's got a, a battery pack in there. And according to what I read, it'll last several days before uh, the battery dies. All right, so we stick that in the ground. Let me figure out how to put this together and we'll come back. We'll go assemble it. 
So these emitters are, are, are very unique. I've never seen anything like this. You'll notice there's a little zigzag pattern there and that slides into the tube. I recommend hot water. Put the tip of the, ho the tube in some hot water because it's kind of, it's tight. It's a very tight fit. And that'll actually, that little zigzag is what controls the water flow. All set up. Now I just got to figure out timing and all the timing modes. So we have water coming out. Here in the bucket, here's the intake screen. And then here's our probes. The probes have to be in water for the little pump assembly to work. You have an in and out. And then there's a 24 hour mode and a 12 hour mode. And then there's the water frequency. So every 12 hours you get five, 10 and 15 minutes. On the 24 hour you get five, 15 and 20 minutes. So, there it is. Most handy little gadget. I think this is a great value. So far, we'll check it when I get back. We're going to be going five days. We'll see how much water it has pumped in five days. So let's go talk about the other thing we need for our Gone Fishing Friday's finds. Our second sponsor for this Gone Fishing edition I'm a poet and I know it. Our second sponsor for this edition, this Gone Fishing edition of Friday's Finds is Cast King. They specialize in fishing equipment. So let's check out what they have sent for this episode of Gone Fishing. It's very nice packaging. Ooh, this will make a great gift. We don't know what that is for. That's for reeling in the big ones. Or the small ones. Is that a nice bag? Ooh, that's pretty. Look at how pretty that is. We have a very well done owner's manual. Oh man, that's great. They even tell you how to set up your drag. Wow, that's one of the better and best instruction books that I've had with a, a product in a long time. A little bling. And an illustrated parts breakdown. Man, I just, these guys are thorough. I like that. I'm a lefty and I really like having universal rod, universal reels. Whoop. Got the wind blowing us. That's a cold front coming. That sure is a pretty reel. Man, so now what we, what I need to do is pair this up with a rod. And I got just the oh. thing. Hold on. The rod, I'm going to pair up this really beautiful reel from Cast King. I'm going to pair that up with a seven foot tall antique. Abu Garcia. Now, I am not a fishing affectionate. You know, I'm a Zebco bobber fishing kind of guy. I do know how to throw a lure, but that's not my, it's not my passion, if you will. So if you know anything about rods, maybe you can tell me in the comments below 
what do you know about the Abu Garcia 2133D? I know that this rod is at least as old as I am. I found this when I was cleaning out my dad's shop after he passed away. Actually, this has got a, a number on it. This is number 0828868. I don't, I don't know what that is. But I do know it's a pretty rod. And I think this makes a really a pretty combination right there. Okay, the next thing we need is a body of water and I don't have that here. So uh, when I get to, we're headed out, we're going fishing. But look, look how sensitive this rod is. That's, uh, that is, that's nice. I like that. So we're headed to Oklahoma. I'll check in with you when we get up there and I got some water to throw a lure into. I'm going to load the new Cast King reel with some Vanish. 100% fluorocarbon. This one is eight pounds. So let's get to it. from our trip north into Oklahoma. That was a fun little outing. You'll see those videos come out in a few weeks. Meanwhile, we got to talk about the watering system. This thing is awesome. As you can see, we, we have water standing in both pots. So my carnivorous plants were kept watered while I was away. Our bucket is down about a quarter. Perfect. Yeah, this is a heck of a value right here. If, if, if you have plants and you wanna automate the process, this is a great way to start right here. I mean, it's not a huge system, but you can put quite a few plants on there. I would say you could you could probably do a dozen conveniently. Uh, yeah, good value. I, I think that's a great investment. Let's talk about the Cash King reel. I like this reel. 
there's only one thing I don't care for, and that is the where the the little and that's the string cleat. I had problems. I, I I can't get it in there, but I think that has more to do with my fingers than it does the reel. Uh, anyway, but that doesn't change the fact that this thing is awesome. The Royal Legend by Cast King. And it is just beautiful, too. As you saw in the video, I, I didn't have the opportunity to reel in any fish, but nobody was reeling in any fish. Most of the guys with the big fancy boats, they weren't even on the water. We had a cold front blow through, and the fish went deep, and the lake was, all the lakes were desperately low to get to deep water, you had to go way out. Better luck next time. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. But this will help you with the fishing and the catching. This thing is great. I love it. And you will too. Both of these items are available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the card as well as in the description. That link will take you to the shopping list on the Dude RV Gear recommendation page for Friday's Finds. That'll be the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear recommendation page. I appreciate you guys following along. If you're still with me at this point and you've gained some value, please click on a thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I would be most honored if you would consider clicking on the subs whoop, whoop, whoop. if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I really appreciate the support. I really do. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful you rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?